In Game of Thrones Season 8, Episode 1, we saw an egg, or Aegon, hatch in the crypts of Winterfell. And we also saw Jon Snow, or Aegon Targaryen, ride a dragon. So many fans are thinking, of course, he's a Targaryen. But does that even matter? Do you need to be a Targaryen to bond a dragon? And what percentage Targaryen is Jon Snow anyway? If we call Rhaegar a dragon, then Jon is 50% Targaryen, whereas Danny is 100% Targaryen. But it's not that simple. Danny's parents and grandparents were siblings, but her great-grandparents were not. Her great-grandmother was Betha Blackwood. Her great-great-grandmother was Diana Dane, and her great-grandmother cubed was Maria Martell. We don't know this to be the case, but let's assume for this minimum case scenario that none of these three ladies had Targaryen blood. And let's assume that Daron II was 100% Targaryen. Danny becomes just 12.5% Targaryen, and Jon becomes just 6.25% Targaryen. And guess what? Daron II was not 100% Targaryen, because his grandmother was Laura Roger. So let's go all the way back to the beginning. Aegon the Conqueror's great-great-great-great-grandfather, he sold his estate in Valyria, and he came over to Dragonstone. We don't know who his wife was, so in this minimum case scenario, let's assume that she was not a Targaryen. That makes his children and his grandchildren 50% Targaryen. We don't know who Ares or Damien Targaryen married, so Arian may have been as low as 12.5% Targaryen. He married Valena Valorian, making Aegon the Conqueror just 6.25% Targaryen. If we go all the way down like this, that makes Danny 0.17% Targaryen. And Jon Snow, just 0.09% Targaryen. Pretty, 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 pretty low. But here's the thing. Instead of looking at Targaryen blood, let's look at so-called dragon's blood, meaning any family that comes from Valyria. Aenar Targaryen presumably married another Targaryen or someone from Valyria before he moved his family from Valyria to Dragonstone. The Valarians are another Valyrian family, so all of these characters in the tree have so-called dragon's blood. Laura Roger is from Lys, or Lys as you guys like to say, and those families originate from Valyria. I'll even include Diana Dane as having dragon's blood since the Danes have dark blue or even purple eyes, like Valyrians. Now, George R. R. Martin has said that House Dane does not originate from Valyria, because they're a lot older. But they may have a common ancestor to the Valyrians, possibly people from a shy beyond the shadow. But basically, this is a very lenient interpretation of dragon's blood, since I'm not only assuming that the Danes have dragon's blood, but I'm also putting people like Lara and Diana as 100% dragon's blood, when they would be significantly less if any of their ancestors married someone without dragon's blood. But that's fine. This is the max dragon's blood scenario. Let's also assume that Aegon the Conqueror's grandmother and great-grandmother were 100% dragon's blood. This brings Danny up to 34% dragon's blood and John to 17%. Still less than 50% for both of them. And this was the extreme example. The truth lies somewhere in between, more than likely closer to the lesser of the two. The point I want to get at is that Jon Snow is not 50% dragon. No matter how you slice it, he's less than 50%. And most likely, it's irrelevant anyway. Most likely, there is nothing special about king's blood or dragon's blood. It's a myth related to the concept of power resides where men believe it resides. It's a trick. If you did not know this, in the books, Melisandre chats with Davos on the side and she's like, Hey bud. If you want to make a shadow baby, come to my chamber one night. I could give you pleasure such as you have never known. And with your life fire, I can make a horror. Davos retreated from her. I want no part of you, my lady, or your god. May the seven protect me. We'll get into this in more detail soon, but for me, one of the themes of this story is that prejudices are real, and they go in both directions. So many people look down on bastards, but on the other side... Many people look up towards Valyrians, a sort of reverse prejudice. Effectively, they're looking down on themselves because they're not Valyrian. But at the end of the day, humans are humans, and all humans are special. All humans have the ability to do great, magical things if they believe in themselves. Faith. Not in any gods. Not in myths and legends. In myself. <laughs> <laughs> 